Hi, uh, my name is Sunil. I am from Hindron Engineering. We are at uh, Century Saras Apartments located at uh, Yalahanka, Bangalore. Uh, about a few months back, we have implemented the uh, rainwater harvesting system in this apartment. We have done both uh, storage and uh, groundwater recharge using two different kinds of filters. Let's go and have a look how it is being done and what are the maintenance involved in that. So, this makes the catchment for the rainwater. Roughly, we have about 900 square meter. So, the water which falls on the roof, of course, the solar panel makes an excellent catchment because it's only glass. The water which falls on the roof gets conveyed through a series of downtake pipes and gets into the filtration below. As I told, it is very important to maintain the catchment clean at all times. Though there are solar panels here, the entry into the roof is restricted. However, it is very important to come and have a regular visit on the roof to make sure that it is clean and there are no uh, rotten leaves or dead animals or anything of the like. So now the rainwater gets into this uh, filtration unit. The filtration consists of three parts, the first line separator, the sedimentation tank and the uh, modified rapid sand filter. So the rainwater first gets into this plumbing arrangement. This is a, called a first line separator. There is a valve provided uh, here. If this valve is open, the rainwater will go and get into the stormwater drain and does not go into the filtration. And if we close this valve, the water builds up in this water column. A Y joint is given here to take care of the surface tension forces. So the water which builds up in this column, after the, the water builds, builds up in this pipe, gets into this uh, sedimentation tank. This is also an extension of a first line separator. The water first gets into this tank. Only after the tank is full, it goes into the filtration unit. This water can be used for any non-portable use like uh, gardening or car wash or any kind of non-portable use. Uh, tap is given here for collection of the water. The water which overflows from this uh, sedimentation tank gets into our uh, main filtration unit, which we will see now. The rainwater now first gets into the sedimentation tank. The overflow from the sedimentation tank gets into this uh, filtration unit. This unit has got uh, filter media, which comprises of 40 mm aggregates at the uh, bottom. Then we have activated carbon, we have got silex and then 20 mm aggregates. So the water flows through all this filter media and we have got this uh, pipe on, on this side. The water which uh, filters through the filter media through this pipe gets into this sump. The water from this sump is further treated in a WTP and sent to the overhead tank. So now we come to the second part of the catchment. About uh, three pipes comprising of roughly 150 square meters is connected uh, through an overhead uh, line and connected into this filter. This is a centrifugal uh, self-cleaning uh, filter. This does not need a separate first line separator as we uh, showed in the previous case. The water gets into this uh, uh, filter. Because of the centrifugal force, the water swirls inside this. Once when the water is filling inside this, the sediments and relatively uh, unclear water gets into this pipe and gets flushed out. There is also a, a mesh inside this uh, filter. This is a stainless steel mesh. So this uh, arrests the inflow of any impurities or any mud or uh, sand or those kind of material. And this automatically gets flushed out through this pipe. So the, the relatively clear water flows through this inlet pipe and gets into any of our storage or uh, recharge structures. Say if we do not want the water for some, some reason, say for example, they are doing waterproofing or painting on the roof, one can just close this uh, valve. If this water, if this valve is closed, the, no water gets into our uh, recharge or storage structure. All the water flows into this uh, waste pipe and gets drained out. So now the, uh, the in, in, in this case, the filtered water from this filter is uh, drained into a, a recharge structure. This is an old defunct borewell. So the uh, filtered water from there is diverted into this structure. 
So, you can see this is an old bore well around it there is a small uh, uh, well with uh, uh, loose soil. So, water gets into this uh, uh, media and then eventually gets into the bore well. There is also some holes provided on the bore well for the easy movement of the water inside. So, now we have seen the rainwater harvesting setup in this apartment. Now, let me introduce uh, you to the committee members here. We have Mr. Uh, Prabhu and Mr. Paisan. They have driven this entire water management and water conservation show at Century Saras apartment. I will uh, hand over it to them. So, they will explain more about their uh, water conservation measures which they have taken in this uh, apartment. Over to Prabhu and Paisan. Yeah. Uh, this is Century Saras. We started in 2019 the sensitization of our uh, residents on water savings. So we first ensured that there are about seven RWH wells which we cleaned and made it ready for uh, water uh, absorption in the ground. Next step was to make residents to save the water. So we have installed uh, aerators in the uh, each apartment which saved us around 25 lakh liters of water per year. The next step was to install a RWS system which we have uh, which we are seeing now in the background so that is going to save us or collect us around 9 lakh liters of water we have one WTP so which recycles uh, around 72 lakh liters of water in all we are saving around 1 crore liters of water per year for Bangalore and this is a great step which we are contributing for our Bangalore. Uh, I am Suresh Pai. Uh, water conservation is imbibed in the minds of Century Saras residents for quite long. In 2017-18, we started with the uh, water aerators, uh, which uh, our Prabhu sir has already told that around 25 lakhs we are saving. The rainwater harvesting, which we did th during the current year, it is saving around 9 lakhs of water. If it rains one day heavily, it saves around uh, 1 lakh 25,000, which is enough for three days of our water consumption. Uh, because of this rainwater harvesting, we are saving around 9 lakhs liters, and our investment money is recovered in two and a half to three years' time. And uh, this is a great saving. If you deposit the amount in the bank, we will get less than 5% post tax, whereas this return we are getting around 28%. So I would request all of the residents in Bangalore to go for rainwater harvesting and water conservation measures. Now, the water, uh, the rainwater harvesting is very useful when there is enough rainfall and there is lack of uh, supply of municipal uh, water supply as in Bangalore. So uh, rainwater harvesting, water aerators, water meters, STP, these are very important step for water conservation and we are aiming for water positive in the next two years time at Century Saras. Thank you.